Welcome back to Cosmic Galaxy. In this video, we're discussing what is black hole spin. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Black holes, like most objects in the universe, planets, stars, asteroids and other compact objects, rotate. This property is known as spin or more formally angular momentum about its axis of rotation. Because a black hole is not a solid body, it can be difficult to visualize. But it helps to imagine a black hole as the end result of a star's evolution. If a star has more than a certain critical mass, usually estimated to be 10 to 20 times the mass of our sun, it will eventually collapse into a black hole. We believe that all stars spin, and that the sun that collapsed into a remnant black hole did as well. The rate of rotation of the star increases as the radius of the star decreases due to conservation of angular momentum. Much like a figure skater pulling her arms in and spinning faster, we don't know how or how much of the original star's rotation is transferred to the black hole. But we do know that the black hole will most likely form with angular momentum. This momentum can be visualized as the rate of rotation of the black hole's event horizon, which is the boundary separating the remnant singularity from the outside universe, and within which you'd need to travel faster than the speed of light to escape the black hole's gravity. Measuring the speed at which a black hole spins is important in astronomy for three reasons. To begin, one of the only two properties that define a black hole is spin, the other is its mass. Second, we believe spin plays a role in driving energetic outflows, such as jets, away from black holes. These outflows can have a significant impact on black hole surroundings and even limit the growth of their host galaxies. Finally, supermassive black holes at galaxies' centers are most likely the result of two processes, the merger of many smaller black holes over billions of years and the accretion of nearby gas. The relative importance of those two processes can be determined by measuring the spins of these supermassive black holes. We can't see a black hole. It's black because no light can escape from it, and we don't yet have the imaging technology to capture the material swirling around one before it falls in. However, we can measure the spin of a black hole using two indirect methods, both of which rely on examining X-ray light emitted by gas about to fall into the hole. We concentrate on X-rays because the rotation of a black hole affects only the region closest to the event horizon, where the gas emits a lot of high energy light. We specifically examine the detected amount of a given energy or radiation wavelength, which is referred to as a spectrum. The temperature at the inner portion of the accretion disk that forms as gas swirls towards the event horizon, similar to water swirling down a drain, is measured in the first technique. We characterize the precise shape of certain spectral lines emitted from the innermost parts of this accretion disk, using the second method. Both methods necessarily require the use of high-quality X-ray spectral data. To extract all possible information from the data and obtain the most precise, accurate constraints in black hole spin, these techniques also necessitate detailed theoretical models that incorporate Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. It is a laborious process, but in the last decade, astronomers have successfully measured such spins in more than 20 supermassive black holes and more than 15 stellar mass black holes. Thank you for watching the video.